designed our um, class browsing and registration program, which is called ACES, which some of you have heard of. We made spaces. They changed the new ACES over the summer. Um, and a lot of students felt that it was really difficult to use. Um, it took a long time to load. And what I felt was there's lots of problems with um, the cognitive accessibility of it. So it was really hard to understand visually. Um, information was also really difficult to access. Um, you had to click on departments, to click on classes, to click on specific details, to click on synopses, and then you had to click back, 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 back to go all the way to the um, to your first option. And then there's all these other issues. For example, you can find your student center, you can find your finances, etc. Um, and so we really utilize the 3D space to present information. We came up with five departments to start up with. Um, there's Earth and Ocean Sciences, uh, Computer Science, ECE, Biology, and Visual Studies. Um, we also have five classes for each department, which will pop up next to it. We represented the classes using a cube, six-sided cubes, with a piece of information on each side. There's the title, there's the time, there is the designation. You can flip it and rotate it however you like. Um, so once the classes are visible, you can put them into the book bag. <coughs> Um, when you drop them into the book bag, they'll show up on the schedule. It's a graphical schedule. You can put as many as you want on it. When you take the classes out of the book bag, they come off the schedule, and there's a trash can where you can permanently delete them. They're also color-coded via the designation, so if you're looking for a specific um, class, like if you need to fulfill a quantitative studies requirement, you don't have to go through a, a complicated search function because it visually is excessive um, through color. Spaces. Wait, Turn on my equipment. Stand near the drama so I don't make it. Yeah, you should stand by me. Okay, so, alright, this is just... Okay, there we go. So, first of all, you walk in and you see the instructions on how to use the space. Okay, and the first thing you'll probably want to do is click on one of these icons. Each one um, is a different department. So, this one, for example, is Visual Studies. I click on that and the, the classes pop up. So, let's say I, I want to take this class. Click that, and we have a cube that you can move around wherever you want. And the first thing that you want to do with it is put it in your book bag. Okay, and it pops up on your graphic schedule. So I just put that in my book bag, and I can add multiple classes. Um, so let's do let's do a bio class. Is that a fetus? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. It's a part of the <laughs> cube. Drop that in there, and it shows up on the schedule. So you've got two classes, and then in the future, if this was actually working and connected to the internet, you could press this button to register. If you like decide that you don't yeah, need your really class, easy. you just grab it out, like outside your book bag, and it's not on the screen anymore. And then you can put it in the trash can, and it will disappear. Wow! Nice. Does it come back over here? Uh, yeah. So if I want to click this again, like it reappears. Yeah. Okay. So it'll reappear at the same spot. So I can do the same thing again. I can trash it. It's already easier than ACES. And it's already easier than ACES. Is that true? Yeah. Huh? yeah.